It's a new day in northern Uganda, in more ways than one. After decades of war and instability, people are making their way home. But that's just the first of many steps it will take to get back to life. As crowded and unsanitary as the conditions were in the IDP camps, home is often no better. Fallow fields, unsafe water sources have created instability of another kind, one of disease and poverty. For so long, northern Uganda has been a prisoner of its past. Now is the time to look to the future. Crossroads Missions is committed to the rebuilding process, along with its trusted partners, they're planting seeds of hope, seeds they hope will bring life back to this desolate land. Pastor Charles is in Lira. Okay. Up until 2006, and, missions director uh, David Shelley knew Chan little about what was there. happening in northern Uganda. So now he's familiar with the land, her, its people, uh, and its needs. Village, We've city. heard the term the cycle of poverty. What we're really trying to do there is, is bring a cycle of supply, and supply with food, not only food for the, till the next growing season, which is great, but food for the next planting season. They'll have enough seed for that. Enough food that maybe they could sell a bit of it and send their kids to school. And also clean water so that they can go to a, a well and know that the water they're getting is good for their kids. So far, Crossroads donors have helped create food and water security for families as well as much-needed counseling and post-trauma help for the vulnerable. But it's still just a drop in the bucket compared to the overwhelming needs out there. That's why Shelley says it's important to have good partners on the ground, people who are trustworthy and accountable. We understand the viewers get, get fatigued at looking at the bad images, but we want them to know that, listen, there's been great results working with families. Uh, families are now sending their kids to school. Um, the wells we have done, the few we have done, you know what, it's clean drinking water. When I go to see them, there's all sorts of happy kids and families around. And, and it makes a difference, it makes a huge difference. Even in places like Barlonio, the site of a massacre, there is life. Thanks to the tractors donated by Crossroads Missions, Victory Outreach Ministries has been able to turn over the soil and a new chapter for families there. Chester Van Heusen says it's a good example of how far a few seats can go, even in the midst of challenges. There's 175 families that are going to be growing lowland rice. And the last report I heard, the rice is growing and it's doing fabulous. In fact, even though there's drought right now in, in northern Uganda and a lot of people are struggling with their crops, the rice is doing well because the ground that they're planting it on is very wet. And the harvest has been more than food. Already eight churches have sprung up from the farming projects. And with this spiritual growth has come healing. Alice Achan and her Christian counseling ministry has developed Seeds of Love, an outreach that trains up volunteers to go into the community and meet the practical and spiritual needs of Northern Ugandans. It's also focused on reaching the next generation, boys and girls who have been tragically scarred by the LRA conflict. So where the parents were killed from the LRA captivity and she was abandoned in wilderness when she was young, so she behaves like an animal, she doesn't know how to talk. She but a Chan well, can see the potential in every child but that comes through I her center and the future that awaits them if they're shown God's About love Canadian and kindness, Canadian not to mention a second chance at life. She cannot see fruit well, but she was highly malnourished. She was admitted, she was hospitalized in Gulu. Now she's fine, we are praying for her, we are providing her counseling, and soon we shall be taking her back home. And she won't be alone. It's estimated that 1.6 million northern Ugandans were displaced by war. And now it's time to go home and start all over again. But that can be a slow process. And that's why Shelley says Crossroads Missions is committed to staying as long as it takes. So when we see people out of the IDP camps, back in their villages, then, then we'll look at it and say, Lord, is this the time to move on? Having strong partners on the ground makes all the difference. 
both Alice Achan and Pastor Charles O'Queer were on the scene before Crossroads missions came and will be there long after they're gone. In the meantime, there is a little piece of Canada sprouting up in the lives and land of northern Uganda. So you have a pretty good job. Yes, I do. I try not to tell people. But I guess the hard part is, is you always want to do more. Really, we're the hands and feet. When I go and speak to people there, it, we, we bring the donors and, and the partners of Crossroads and Crossroads Missions. And, and we make sure that they know it's because of the people who support us. In a land blessed with so much, it has had to overcome many curses, poverty, violence, and injustice. But you can help Northern Uganda come back to life and bring in the harvest of dreams, visions, and hope coming through the soil and the hearts of its people.